everybody it's lady led i don't know if you remembered me planting this this planter of broccoli and there are some cauliflower back there i wanted to bring you along because i need to harvest it and i almost my first instinct was just to come out here and cut it and go in the house and cook it <laughs> but i was like no let me show them you can get broccoli in a container I promise you this is not this is not prime this is not the biggest um this one this one if i allow it to go any longer it's gonna flower and and be of no use at all because it's about to be a frost tonight it's like gonna get down into the 20s so it's time for me to do something with it i'm just gonna I, i'm not going to dig up the whole plant because it might it might keep producing and if nothing else it may um produce some more leaves which those are light greens they're edible so this plant could still give me something but right now if i don't get this it's going to finish blooming because that's what this basically is a floret that will become flowers that will soon have seed pods well they would if they could get pollinated but it's too cold and i just don't see that happening so i'm gonna give you a close-up on this broccoli and I've, I've got some others i'm gonna show you and then we're gonna cut it and take it in the house all right so this this was the container this was actually the first one to give me some florets it's not doing so hot but it's still edible i'm gonna take it and then this one is bigger not anywhere near as big as i'd like it to be as big as i've grown it before but for a container for it being in a container it's doing really well let me show you the cauliflower that's nowhere near ready and I, i'm just gonna have to leave it and hope that it keeps growing look at that it's so cute <laughs> But it's so tiny, it's useless right now. Let me show the, the other one. It's so, it, the, these are bigger, but still, um, still nowhere near, nowhere near the size I'd like them to be. And I don't know. I don't know if they'll get any bigger if this frost is gonna harm them. And then here's the other one. These, I don't know. I don't know what to say about these maybe I didn't feed them enough <laughs> oh they are so little these are so these are different varieties by the way I don't I don't remember what that one is called there's one so th this one I'm gonna leave and see if it keeps growing this one I'm gonna chop the whole little top off I'm gonna chop this whole thing off of this one and this one Oh my goodness, my hands are so cold. I do not like the cold. All right, I got me a storage bag. I don't know if these scissors are gonna be strong enough. I probably should have bought a knife. I'm just gonna take it right here. There's some little side notes, like right there and back here. I'm gonna cut above those just in case just in case they decide to grow something extra. All right, let's give it a chop. Broccoli! If the bugs had to let me alone, I might actually have some decent broccoli, but they just wouldn't stop. But some is better than none. I heard Miss Cheryl say that the other day, and I was like, that is my philosophy all the way. Some is always better than none. Because some, what in the world is on me, y'all? Y'all just let me be out here with stuff on me. <laughs> but um, some will teach you some things, like what not to do. So I'm going to tell you what not to do. What I would not do again is have eight plants in this one 
my instinct was to do six but I got greedy. It's so easy to do that and want to crowd the plants. So next time I'm just going to do six. This one down here, I did six, but but the container is smaller. I really should have only did four in here. But either way. But let's let's take what we can take. I want it to grow a little bit more. I don't know, it may not grow. This frost might hinder it or I don't know, but I'm not gonna take it. Either way, it's gonna be useless to me to have one little piece of cauliflower. Some is better than none, huh? Um, I really don't wanna take it though. Um, I do know these can handle a little bit of a frost. I just didn't want my florets to turn to mush. So I'm gonna leave that, we'll see. Let's do a spear bit, see what happens, okay? All right, y'all, I got my broccoli inside. I'm gonna give it a good rinse, and then I'm gonna cut it up, and then I'm gonna steam it over here in my double stack steamer. And then I'm gonna add this to my meal for tonight. So let me give it a rinse. All right, I got my broccoli rinsed off, and I made sure I took a good look all around, even though it's it's been chilly and there's been no sign of bugs. I don't want to bite a bug. So I always just double check. I kind of look up under there, look in here in this area just to make sure nothing's there. But um, as you can see, there's some brown stuff here. I'm gonna cut that off of that one. This one I kind of, eh. This one isn't my favorite looking one. I might chop that off and give that to the chickens. But this one, oh, this is a nice one. But again, I wanna look in there, make sure nothing's there. Okay, what is that? That looks like a bug. I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna get us another rinse. All right, I gave it another rinse. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You have to re-rinse it. Um, if I were really concerned, I would soak this in some salt water, <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is doing okay. All right, I'm gonna give them a chop. I'm just separating them. That's really all I'm doing. All right, I got my first pot filled with about an inch of water. I'm going to put the steamer on top. Now what I'm going to do is put my broccoli in. I'm going to turn it on high. Put my lid on. That's it. Let it steam. Maybe five minutes. Maybe ten. Depends on how tender I want it. All right, that should be it. It should be about how I like it. So I'm just gonna turn this off. Yeah. I've got some butter here. This is some salted butter. Real butter, use real butter or ghee. That's what I prefer. And then I'm just gonna dump it into my bowl. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, not too, too much. And some of my favorite seasonings. Oh man, I love this stuff. Now, this is the moment I've been waiting for months for. <laughs> to get a taste of my own broccoli, y'all. Now, I said I was gonna make this for a meal. I'm not sure if it's gonna make it. 
Not sure if it's gonna make it. We shall see, we'll give it a taste. Check that out, y'all. This is what messes me up, why I have a hard time eating stuff from the grocery store. You're just not gonna find anything that tastes like that. I know I added my own seasonings, but you saw it was just butter, some salt, and my cook-all seasoning. But there's like this extra There's this extra savoriness that's here that I know is not there in the frozen stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna try to save some of it. But y'all, even though it's not that much, like you may be thinking, oh my goodness, that's not enough to feed a whole family. That came off of, um, basically just two broccoli plants. Broccoli plants that had been bombarded with critters. Y'all saw how the leaves looked when I first planted them. This is it, y'all. These bugs, the those purple and green um, cabbage worms have been having an absolute field day, right? So imagine if I could keep some of those caterpillars away, which I'm gonna try using some netting in the spring. Imagine if um, I were growing way more, which I am going to be doing. Imagine that. So y'all, y'all have seen this broccoli from beginning to end. Before you know it, it's gonna be time to plant some more. So get your seeds ready, get your starter plants ready, get yourself ready, because it's worth it. It's so worth it. So y'all, it's Lady Led cooking my own broccoli. Such a wonderful feeling. And I'm out.